today at our 2017 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector. Part number 118449. Here's what our wiring looks like installed. This wiring is going to give us the basic lighting functions that are required by law in order for us to safely and legally tow a trailer. This white wire here provides the necessary ground connection between our trailer and our Highlander so our lights on the trailer work properly. This brown wire here is for our tail light and running light circuit. On this wire, we have a total maximum power output of 5.6 amps of power, which is sufficient to tow a small trailer with a few incandescent light bulbs or several LED lights. LEDs draw significantly less power than incandescent light bulbs, so we don't have much to worry about there. All right, this yellow wire here is for our left turn signal and left brake light. This has a total power output of 2.1 amps. So if we have two or three incandescent light bulbs for our turn signals and our brake lights, we'll probably be okay. If we're using LEDs, we don't have anything to worry about there. For this green wire here, this is our right turn signal and right brake light. And just like the left, we have 2.1 amps of power output on that wire. This cap here is built into our four pole flat connector within a tether. And this covers our connector when it's not in use to help protect it from the elements and any dirt or debris which may be inside of our vehicle. Now, if you like, you can put some dielectric grease inside this connector to help better protect it. And we have that available on our website as well. Now, this wiring, when it's not in use, is designed to be stored inside of our vehicle to help better protect it from the elements and keep it up and out of the way and away from any damage that could occur. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. And to begin our installation, we'll open our rear hatch. We'll go ahead and take our mat here. We'll fold it forward out of the way. Take this cover out here. Take out this one here on the driver's side. Now we have seven clips that hold our carpet in place. Just take a trim panel tool underneath the carpet and pop these loose. Fold that forward. All right, now the storage compartment off to the driver's side here. We need to remove this. To do that, we'll just grab it and pull up on it. We'll set it aside. Right underneath that storage compartment that we just removed, we have a 10 millimeter nut that holds our center tool compartment in place for our spare tire and our jack. Remove that. We can grab our storage compartment here, pull up on it. And we'll set that aside. All right, now that we have both of our panels removed, we have access to our two connectors that we're gonna be using. We'll start with this small one here first, and that is where our four pole flat connector will plug into. Now these connectors are keyed, so they only go in one way, so just line it up, and then push it in until it clicks. The bigger one here, that's where our module is going to plug into, just like that. Okay, I zip tied up our module here, to this bracket where our cargo box secures itself to. This will keep it from rattling around and keep it up out of the way. And now we can reinstall all of our panels in the reverse order of removal. Okay, now our four pole flat wiring, we'll drape it down here to the side, right in this location, and then we'll reinstall the side panel. Okay, now off on our driver's side underneath the hood, we have our fuse box. It's located right against our firewall near our master cylinder reservoir here. Press on this tab right here, lift up on the lid, set it to the side. We have an unoccupied fuse slot right here. This is for our towing circuit. And we'll plug in our provided 10 amp fuse into that slot. 
stick it in and push down. Okay, now we're using part number I26, which is a four pole flat tester, which we have available on our website. We're gonna test out our trailer wiring, make sure it works properly. Now the reason we're using a tester versus just hooking up to our trailer is if our trailer has an electrical problem with it, we won't be able to tell if the wiring is working right on our vehicle. Start off by turning on our headlights. And as you can see, our tail light and running light circuits working fine. Left turn signal now, that's working too. Right turn signal, that's working. Brakes, those are working great. Now while we're stepping on the brakes, we'll operate our turn signals to make sure everything's functioning properly. And as you can see, it is. That completes our look at and installation of the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118449 on our 2017 Toyota Highlander.